Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Sunny, and today I'm gonna rank the top six most psychic signs of the zodiac. Mm-hmm. All right, before we begin, it should be stated, you know, of course, that there are different types of psychic abilities, right? Some people have a heightened emotional intuition. Some people process so much information around them, right, that they can just predict what's gonna happen. Some people read tar tarot cards, tarot cards, some read horoscopes, you know, some hear voices, some can read energy, you know, it's really all kind of different. Anyways, the guys on this list tend to be super sensitive to what's happening around them. They have an uncanny ability to just get the answers right, and in many cases, they'll often get the answers correct before you even ask them, seriously. And as always, this list is based on both a bit of reputation, of course, right, and a deeper understanding of astrology. So take it all with a grain of salt and have fun. But place your bets, <laughs> and let's see if you can figure it out. All right, and that brings us to number six, and that's Sagittarius. <laughs> Seriously. There's a part of the zodiac, okay, for the don't know, there's a part of the zodiac that's considered the psychic part of the zodiac. And that's the end of Scorpio and a little bit of the beginning of Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius definitely checks off the astrological component here. <laughs> but that's not the only reason. Has anyone noticed yet? Like, have you noticed that a Sagittarius is our most straight shooting sign? Not only because they're confident and they speak their minds, but they almost always get it right. <laughs> yeah, they're considered one of our brainy signs, sure, but Leo's smart and outspoken as well, and they're not really considered psychic, although there's some psychic Leos. But Sagittarius has a way of taking in and processing a ton of information and then filtering it, and then, unlike some of the other brainer signs, Sagittarius can project it, project it back out into the future. And that, my friend, is what being psychic's all about. Sagittarius is fast, you know, not because they're impatient and waiting for action like Aries, but rather Sagittarius is fast because they already know what's going to happen. And it's a lot more than that, you know. It's more than, I have a feeling about something, you know. A Sagittarius can shoot way into the future or way behind the scenes, and they almost always hit their mark. It's uncanny and it's a little spooky. And the only thing is, Sagittarius doesn't exactly look the part. You know, those guys are coming up. But Sagittarius definitely belongs here. And if you're ever talking to a Sagittarius and you begin to question, how did they know that? Well, now you know. <laughs> our, our number six most psychic sign, Sagittarius. Seriously. Okay, next. Things are, relative, are going to tighten up here because there are a lot of psychic signs and there are a lot of psychic you know, elements of the zodiac. Number five, Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Aquarius rules the collective conscious. They're the light which leads the way out of the darkness. They're super smart and they can predict outcomes based on both facts and <laughs> Aquarius in intuition. Calm down, Sunny. <laughs> and this is all psychic stuff. Well, let's look a little closer. Um, it's Aquarius, right? So although they're supposed to be one of our most logical signs, the truth is, a lot of those points, you know, that logic that Aquarius uses as facts, can be completely unrelated or have nothing to do with what you're talking about or the topic. But they still find a way to get it right. Let's look at it another way. Let's get an example. Let's say if you're driving and you ask an Aquarius if you should turn left or right. You know, simple directions when you're lost. Aquarius might think and say, well, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so maybe we should make a left. <laughs> you know? Or maybe, it's getting late, we should make a right here. And, and then you arrive at your destination right on time, right? See, it's messed up, but they got it right. It's kind of weird, but it's a psychic ability, and it's supposed to be appreciated, not necessarily understood. And while I definitely appreciate Aquarius, but I totally don't get it. And you know, if you ask them, you know, they'll list all of the reasons, right? Aquarius doesn't hide. They're proud of their abilities. You're just not going to understand the reasoning. And that's because, whether they can admit it or not, Aquarius is psychic. Goofy, cuckoo bananas, definitely. <laughs> also, definitely psychic. It's so number five, Aquarius. All right, here we go. Did you guys get those? <laughs> I don't know. The next guys are easy, and most people would actually rank them much higher. A lot of them have them as number one. But there's a reason they only make it in at number four, and that's 
Do 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 do. Pisces. What, Sonny? <laughs> okay, everybody relax. First, Pisces gets the rap of being psychic because they are super intuitive. This is true. But here's why they slip on the list. Pisces re reacts extremely strongly to their environment. And if they think they have an intuition, they will take flight. But with Pisces, you have to be careful because, you know, like Libra, let's say, they're naturally flighty and they're more likely to take off because they've lost interest than a true psychic revelation. And then say after the fact, I knew something was funny and that's it. And that's why they wanted to go. But the truth is, they were gonna hit the boogie anyways, you know? And all of this, it happens so often. <laughs> and I mean, they are always drifting in and out that by the process of sheer numbers of times they do it, well, they're obviously gonna get it right enough times for people to notice, right? But, okay, but, Having said that, there is a psychic planet, you know? And that's Neptune. And Neptune rules, well, do, 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 Pisces, you know? So, yeah, they are super emotionally sensitive, you know? They're a water sign that has deep connections to the psychic world of hidden connections and unseen energy forces. They have remarkable intuition, and they're super smart. No, they don't always get it right, but that's because like Aquarius, both, psyche, uh, both Pisces and Aquarius get overloaded with their psychic abilities and they both have trouble filtering and they both react to it, whether it's a real intuition or just a perceived psychic hit. So, number four, they have the biggest reputation and they have it for a reason, Pisces. Pisces is awesome. <laughs> All right, next, chugging along. Number three, numero trois. And you might not believe this one, but number three, do 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 do, Gemini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet you didn't get that one. But think about it. Gemini doesn't have the reputation because, well, they're not artsy fartsy, you know. And when most people think of psychic, they think artsy fartsy woo woo woo, -woo kind of stuff, you know, like Pisces. <laughs> and Gemini is definitely not like that. But. Haven't you ever noticed? Like seriously, pay attention. Gemini's ability to finish your sentences. Mm-hmm. It's almost like they already know what you're gonna say and you can test them on it. Yeah. And to make them even more difficult to spot, a Gemini does it all at speed. This means where some of the psychics need quiet to focus, a Gemini receives psychic hits while on the move. That's why they're so good with things like, you know, when they're lost, <laughs> when you guys are lost, Gemini can lead you out of the way. <laughs> and they know what you're thinking and how you're gonna react already. And they know what you're gonna say long before you even take a breath. And Geminis do it constantly. And if you watch closely, you'll see Gemini, a psychic Gemini, holding themselves back during conversations because, you know, well, <laughs> Gemini is a sign of conversation and they know that people need an opportunity to express themselves. And it can't happen when a Gemini is cutting them off all the time. Just saying, it's true and you can see it every day. These guys fly way under the psychic radar, but they're super psychic nonetheless. This is number three, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Next. Number two, <laughs> well, you know the water signs would be well represented here. They're emotionally intuitive, super attentive, and they physically feel and react to the energies around them. But that's not why our next sign makes the list. And that sign is, do 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 our cuddliest sign, Cancer. <laughs> In astrology, Cancer is ruled by the moon, which is another psychic indicator. It's the light in the darkness. But the moon, right, it needs a bigger light to help it shine. And that's kind of what being psychic is all about anyways. Taking an existing light and using it to see even further into the darkness. And yes, Cancer is super emotional and super in tune with the energies around them. But in their, it's their ability to figure out what everyone is thinking by reading their emotional state and then act on it, which makes them psychic. No, they're not always going to tell you something bad's going to happen. But if you're standing there and your cancer buddy, buddy suddenly takes off, they haven't lost interest like Pisces. But cancer has been triggered and they're probably scared. And you should probably get out of there as well and go find your cancer. 
You know, just saying. Anyways, cancer is super psychic. It's, it's like it's not even a flinch here. Cancer is psychic. But here's something interesting that might reveal more about cancer and their abilities. Did you know that when you ask most signs whether they prefer the light or the dark, they usually say the light. But if you ask a cancer and they're being true, more often than not, cancers will say they prefer the nighttime. And as funny as it sounds, can it's because cancers love their little moon. <laughs> you see, they stare at it. Oh my goodness, I've known more than one cancer. A couple of cancers, they howl at the moon. Sonny, look at the moon, look at the moon. I'm like, oh, come on, man, <laughs> look at the moon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, and they, and more than any other sign, come, cancers come alive and they play when they see it. Like, it's so cute. But you see, they have a natural affinity to the unseen, but definitely felt forces in this world, and they use it to guide their journey. And it's not so strange, really. Think about it. The moon's like right there, you know? It's their astral ruler, and it has a constant influence. And in some types of astrology, it's more important than the sun. And for cancer, like almost everything else, it's personal. And it's probably one of the only things that they don't hide. So with that, one of our most emotional, most control freakish, smothering, and easily number two psychic sign. Sonny, the moon, look at the moon. <laughs> it's cancer. <laughs> okay, honorable mentions, here we go. Aries. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, no. Although, there are some Aries who are quite intuitive, like it's true. Um, but no one is ever accused in Aries of being psychic. They rarely look ahead or behind the scenes. And I'm only mentioning them here because what I don't mention them in the videos, man, they get upset. <laughs> it's too funny. They're that competitive. Psychic, you gotta be... A Look, think about it. Aries is competitive. When you compete with everything, you get it wrong a lot of the time, too. You know, not in a bad way. Sometimes the journey is kind of fun. But in Aries, to be psychic, you need patience and insight. Aries has... Neither. <laughs> They're neither patient nor excited. But you never know. All right, next. Okay, next. One more honorable mention, and this one's kind of serious and it's interesting. For a short time, I was very close. I was close uh, friends with um, someone who um, who studied at the Berkeley Psychic Institute, and she was a Capricorn, believe it or not. And her sister, who studied there as well, was an Aquarius. You know, so. Just saying, I've also met a couple of psychic Leos when I used to give hypnosis, you know, I used to give hypnosis workshops all over the place at psychic conventions and fairs and stuff. And um, while we're at it, it doesn't hurt to mention uh, Virgo as well, who like Gemini and Sagittarius process so much information that they seem to always know the answer. But truthfully, information's not enough and an educated guest doesn't really cut it on this list and you have to be able to process it and project it into the unknown and Virgo you know Virgo has all of this but they don't have leap of faith thinking and that's what it means to be psychic so no no Leo no Virgo and that brings us to our number one although debatable and I'm sure you're gonna debate this one but definitely psychic sign of the zodiac and that's place your bets everyone do 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 Scorpio. Oh yeah. First, Scorpio rules the psychic part of the zodiac, if you didn't know. <laughs> like, they also rule mysteries and hidden forces and behind the scenes activities. They're also ruled by Pluto, which is the planet that rules the underworld and again, hidden forces. In other words, Scorpio ranks, ranks number one astrologically because they just simply have more psychic points than any of the, any of the other signs. And I mean seriously, don't take my word for it, and everyone should know by now of the truly psychic sign that was erased from the zodiac a long time ago. And where does that sign sit in the chart? Right at the end of Scorpio and right at the beginning of Sagittarius. That's where it is. You know, so whether you choose to recognize it or not, that's the deal. Scorpio is emotionally intuitive. They process tons of factual information. They can see behind the scenes. They are known as the detectives of the Zodiac. They, you know, they're, they're renowned as the sign that, that um, uncovers hidden information and they have a natural ability to get you talking about yourselves and revealing secrets anyways. That's what Scorpio does. And they do it naturally. But here's more. Scorpio's always studying. And um, so 
and getting so it's not just their natural abilities which makes them the best here they know who they are and they're getting better every day no you're not going to see scorpios at tons of scorpios at psychic fairs yeah i was there but like whatever right that's you know that's a public thing and scorpios private by nature but you will see scorpios using their talents in behind the scenes in subtle ways you know, like hanging out at the casino or racetrack, you know, or more than likely mixing it up in some kind of occult psychic love spell kind of thing. It's cute. That's a Scorpio thing too. So with that, our number one psychic sign. And leave your comments in the comment section below. Scorpio. Anyways, what else did I write here? Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll do my best to address them in the weekly Love Horoscopes video that comes out every Thursday. And if you haven't subscribed yet or shared the videos on Facebook or YouTube playlist, what are you waiting for? Just push the button right there. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Our top six psychic signs. From the sunnyside.net, I'm Sunny. Wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.